my friend. I'm Kelly Mize Holly and I'm a fashion stylist and welcome to one of my very first style sessions. I am so excited that you're here. I'm basically going to treat this like a podcast, but I wanted to kind of help introduce you into my world and give you some of the advice that I give to my private clients. So with the introduction of COVID, fashion has changed dramatically. We are now looking at wearing sweatpants to work. We are rolling out of bed and jumping from our pajamas and coffee to Zoom calls. So we're really um, kind of adjusting to a new normal here. And I wanted to talk through some ideas that I have that I think can help you show up and feel better about what you're wearing every day. And this is gonna really help with your self-confidence. It's going to help you show up with power and with more confidence and just to be more of you and let your personality shine through through your style and really help propel your career forward help you be the light and energy that your family needs for you i really think that by answering a few questions that i've received really recently i can really help you get to the next level through your style. So first of all, quick introduction, a little bit about me if you don't know me. I have a degree in fashion merchandising from Oklahoma State University. I owned a cute little clothing boutique in Tulsa called Little Black Dress for a little bit over 10 years. So it was in Brookside, which is in Midtown Tulsa. It was a wonderful store. I owned it and managed it and worked there almost every day for about 10 years. And then I met my husband, Greg, and he has three kids, and I was really excited about being a bonus mom, but working in retail just wasn't really working for my personal life. Uh, so I sort of wanted to take all of that experience and knowledge, working with hundreds of women to help them get dressed and buy clothes every day, but really transition that into something even better and what I do now with my private clients makes me so happy on a personal level because I feel like I can really take what they have in their closet and use it to help them to create and expand upon their existing personal style. Because you actually have a personal style, you may just not realize what it is. So as a stylist, I can help bring that out for you and help you really take full advantage of what's in your closet. So I help clients edit their closet, I help them clean things out, and then I help them take what they've already got and figure out how to wear it in unique ways, but then also how to shop strategically, whether I'm doing it or they're doing it, for what they truly, truly need to fill in their wardrobe. So that's a little bit about me and a little bit about what I do. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about the three ways that I have to work with me towards the end. So stay tuned because I have a really fun little offer for you that I'm gonna um, throw out at the end and I wanna be sure that you take advantage of it. But if you're not in a place where you have a calm space around you, I would encourage you to do that. Maybe press pause on this video for a moment. Um, I know from personal experience that I like to multitask. So I could be watching a video and making dinner or, um, you know, hanging out with my dogs or something else. But I really want you to kind of focus for the next five to I don't know, maybe eight minutes and just really think about how this can help you and how this could truly impact your life. Okay. So how do I look good and put together when I really don't feel like it? So yeah, how I feel when I dress up is completely different. I'm going to give you an example. When we first got into COVID and things started happening, I was rolling out of bed in my pajamas, just going straight to the computer with my coffee and my robe on. And you know what? That was okay for a minute. Like, then I sort of graduated into workout outfits and then I graduated into sweatpants. So we've all kind of transitioned. And then as I started doing more Zoom calls, I was like, okay, I can look cute from here up and that's all I have to worry about, right? So I get it. And now we're in this season where depending on where you are, uh, determines kind of the level of 
get out in the worldness that you are involved in, right? So for us, we live in Oklahoma and we're getting out a little bit more, um, sharing the world with people that we feel comfortable with. We are doing a lot of things outside. We're um, having family over that we know have tested negative. I mean, we're just being really careful, right? So um, I'm sure that everyone is in a different place. And when it comes to Zoom calls, I think we're all a little bit Zoom called out, but we're still doing those to connect with people, right? So I do a lot of Zoom calls with my clients. Okay, so how do I feel now that I am like in an outfit? I feel so much more confident. I feel like I can speak to you about almost anything with confidence because I put this outfit on and I'm not in a t-shirt and sweatpants anymore, okay? So it really did change my brain frequency and my brain activity into feeling more empowered. I feel more confident. I feel put together and I just feel better about my life in general, right? Okay, so I find that I actually get more done if I show up and I get ready, if I put on an outfit with intention, I feel more productive throughout the remainder of my day. So I hope that that gives you a little bit of encouragement to actually put on an outfit. I have looked and re done a little bit of research and I have found that most people, when they put on good quality pieces and they actually invest a little bit of time in considering what they're going to put on their body and the outfit that they're choosing um, and they're intentional about it, that they have more confidence, um, which can really truly propel you into greatness in your life. So when you feel confident in yourself and your outfit choice, you put a teeny bit of thought into it. Um, I just, I truly believe that this is going to push you forward, whether it's in your career, whether it's with your family, whether it's just your ability to show up and make better decisions, feel more creative. For me, that's how it works. If I put on an outfit, I feel like I can show up and I can be more creative. I can be more passionate. I can be more involved in life on a regular basis, right? So when you put on an outfit with intention, these are the things that can happen. It's kind of a domino effect. Um, I know you guys are busy though. I know, I know you're busy. I know that you are, um, you've got a lot of pots on the stove. You are, they are boiling. They're about to overflow. You don't even know how in the world you could think about what you're wearing and why in the world does that make a difference right now? So, okay. So here's a couple of questions that I'm going to answer for you. And I think that this is going to put it into perspective. Okay. So I have people asking me, Kelly, what do I buy right now? What do I buy right now? So I believe that investing in quality pieces, quality, not quantity, but investing in quality pieces is going to be to your advantage over time. Now, why would I encourage you to spend $200 on a pair of jeans when you could get five pairs for less than $100? I think that the $200 jeans, if you get one pair of those, they're going to last you longer than all five pairs of the $20 jeans put together. They're going to flatter your figure more. You're going to be able to create more outfits with them. You're going to feel confident. And over time, they're going to last a lot longer. They're not going to fall apart. Also, if you alter these jeans to fit your body perfectly, the quality of the garment is going to determine how you can alter it as well. So if you get these jeans altered to fit you much better, they're going to last you more over time. They're going to look better. You're going to feel more confident and you're going to be able to create more outfits out of them. Okay, so being intentional is actually a styling trick. Being a planner in what you're wearing and being truly intentional about what you put on your body is a true styling trick. When you have an outfit to put on and you style it, you look put together, you feel put together, and you can accomplish more. Okay, so I I understand that buying things of higher quality might feel like a stretch to some people and it might seem a little scary, um, but the quality of the garment, the brand of the garment, depending on the brand, um, and how it fits you or just kind of being willing to alter it is a game changer as far as your confidence. Um, for example, you know, the new outfit feeling. Do you remember, do you remember how that feels? 
If you could capture that new outfit feeling in a bottle and feel that every day about what you're wearing, imagine how amazing you would feel. I mean, that is a truly amazing feeling. Okay, so I'm going to give you a really quick outfit idea for if you're working from home, you've got to do a Zoom call, and then you want to take the kids out for a walk with the dog later on in the afternoon. So here's my tip of the day. Really nice dark skinny jeans, a good white v-neck t-shirt, accessorize the way that you would like with some classic accessories and a really nice black blazer, okay? So for the um, the Zoom call, you're gonna pop on the blazer. Now, I'm not telling you that you have to go out and spend $500 on a blazer. Good blazers are usually more than 400. If you can do that, invest in a good blazer. If you can't, go find one that is uh, equivalent as far as the quality goes or go get one at a secondhand store and get it altered to fit you. And I promise you that getting that aspect of getting it to fit you and altering it to fit you is going to be the game changer. Because when you have something that's fitted at the waist, no matter what shape you are, it gives you that hourglass shape. It gives you that feeling of confidence. And you're just going to look pretty and feminine and just feel better about yourself, okay? Um, when you're done with the Zoom call or you're done with your professional aspects, you can take off the blazer, put on a little sweatshirt, jacket, or whatever, change your shoes into flat shoes, and then you'll be good to go to go walk around the block. But the styling trick of, you know, tucking in the shirt, wearing the blazer that is more fitted, um, things that are more closely fitted to your body are actually more flattering. And a few styling tricks in this outfit as well. If you wear the blazer open, the two lines that are down the center of your body, and see I have that going on today with my top, that draws your eye in. And so that's a slimming effect. The other aspect of this is that the third piece really pulls together your outfit. Anytime you have a third piece, third piece, third piece, third piece, it pulls the outfit together, it looks like an outfit, it's intentional, it elevates the outfit, no matter what quality or anything, anything is, okay? It elevates the outfit because it creates a look. It's a look, okay? So um, the energy, the vibe, the experience of owning these pieces, of owning the outfit, of owning the look, that is gonna push you into your next level of everything. That's gonna give you confidence, okay? Question number two, what do I do when I don't feel cute? What do I put on? So what I'm gonna challenge you to do is to really push yourself out of this idea that you need to lose five pounds in order to feel better about yourself. So I personally know the feeling of comfort eating or eating to feel better, right? So I'm an 80-20 girl for the most of the time. I really enjoy eating healthy. I like how it makes me feel, but I also like how chocolate chip cookies taste. And when I'm feeling stressed out or I need a little bit of a sugar rush, that's what I go to. And I let myself indulge in that, especially recently, because things are happening that are outside of our control. You feel a little bit out of control. And sometimes we just need to give ourselves a treat and help ourselves feel better. And you know what? It is what it is. We're all there. So whatever it is that you need to go to, whether you need to go walk around the block, you need a cookie, you need to have a meditate and just really talk to yourself, um, it's okay, guys. We all need to cope with what's going around us in a different way and you need to find what's best for you and I'm not going to tell you what's best for you. I'm also not going to tell you to go lose five pounds because right now it's just not, you just don't need to worry about that. What you need to do is find the inner self-confidence that is already within you that I know is there. And so here's what you need to do. When you get dressed in the morning, you need to have a conversation with yourself. You need to be able to look yourself in the mirror. And I am totally pulling a Stuart Smalley from the old SNL skits. When you talk to yourself and you really believe in yourself, if you can look at yourself in the mirror and really connect with you and really believe that you have the beauty, the inner beauty and the outer beauty, because I know that you are, because you were put here on this earth, you are beautiful. You just need to internalize that. So no matter how you're feeling, whether it's five pounds up or five pounds down and you're down about it, you can connect yourself and positive self-talk yourself. That's what you need to be able to do. You can show up and you can conquer the world. 
I want you to buy clothes that fit you now. I want to wear you to wear clothes that are fitting you right now with the way that you are. Because, guys, there's nothing worse than putting on a pair of jeans that is too small. And that feeling is going to be with you all day, right? So what you need to do ultimately is put something on that fits you well, that makes you feel good. And if you only have one outfit in your closet right now that really feels good, you need to find ways to keep doing that and keep wearing that outfit every day because that feel good feeling is going to really propel you forward. And that's what we need to maximize our potential, okay? So what fits you best and what flatters you best and what makes you feel the best right now today, that's what you need to wear. Um, when you put on an outfit in the morning, you need to not worry about it the rest of the day. It needs to be on your body serving the purpose of making you feel confident, positive, and just really propelling you forward to do the things that you need to do in your life because you're busy, right? You've got a job, you've got a career, you're trying to elevate that, you're trying to bring back to your family, and then you are the mom at the end of the day too. So you've got to show up as um, a teacher or, um, you know, you're, you're all of a sudden you're an educator now and you've got to help keep your family uplifted and not feeling down and frustrated about all the things that are going on. Um, so that good outfit feeling and that vibe of energy and positive self, it's going to help you feel good and it's going to help you shine your light into the world and feel good and make the positive impact in your work and your family that you truly need to do, okay? So I hope that it resonates with you. Um, I hope that you can sort of see that this is an extension of how I work with my clients. And no, I don't really, you know, we don't have all of these types of conversations all the live long day when I work with my clients because fundamentally I'm helping them edit, I'm helping put outfits together, I'm working, I'm shopping, I'm shopping with them, I'm shopping for them, I'm dropping things off, I'm helping them, you know, get things done and accomplished. But I just kind of wanted you to hear what it was like um, from me and sort of how I work and, and what's really in my heart um, to really empower and encourage you. So I'm going to um, let one of my clients, one of my private clients, tell you a little bit about what it's like to work with me from her personally. Hi, I wanted to give you guys my um, experience with Kelly and let you know that um, I used Kelly to help me to create outfits in my closet with the clothes that I already had. And it's something that I thought about doing for a long time. I just didn't do it. Um, wasn't sure I wanted to spend the money on that. And I, once I did it, it was more than I expected. I loved what she did. It, ex it just um, opened up my closet to so many more options. Um, of course, you know, I love to buy clothes and go shopping, but she will just keep adding to it now. And she, um, was so creative with all my stuff. I was just shocked. So it's so fun to go into my little virtual closet and look for outfits. I love it. I'm kind of kicking myself. I didn't do it sooner than I did, but, um, Kelly is so good at what she does. Uh, I would definitely recommend, uh, her to any of my friends and I can't wait for her to do my next season. Isn't that the sweetest? Every time I watch that from Jennifer, I get a little bit teary and I'm so grateful that I've had the opportunity to meet her and get to know her and really help her with her style goals. So um, there are actually three ways to work with me right now. Um, two of them are completely virtual and um, are a little bit lower price point. So I have the pocket stylist, which is a one-time um, opportunity to work with me. It comes with a lot of cool stuff. I'll let you check that out. Um, the second level is to work with me on a seasonal basis. You will get access to your virtual closet where we'll work together. Um, I'll help create outfits for you every season. We do a complimentary Zoom call as well. And then I make recommendations on what I think you need to buy each season in order to really maximize what you've already got. The third way to work with me is as a VIP, 
and that is kind of the next level step. And so I would love to speak with you on a one-off uh, to see if something like that would work for you. So what I'd love to do with you is schedule a complimentary 15-minute phone call where we can talk about how we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I can help you with closet edits. I can help you shop. If you don't like to shop, if you like to shop, that's okay too. We have an option where you can do your own shopping and then I'll help you afterwards as well. So plenty of ways to work with me. I'd love to hop on the uh, phone with you and just talk through a few of those options. If you'll click um, and schedule a call with me and just let me know that you watched this um, all the way to the end and I have a very special um, offer for you if, uh, if you'd like to work with me and I would love to do that with you. So make sure that you mention that during our phone call. Um, if you'll fill out the questionnaire and then fill out a time that works for you, we will uh, get on the phone for a little phone date very soon. I cannot wait to connect you, with you and meet you. Um, on the phone and work with you either in person or virtually because I can do that either way because I've got all of the resources. So I know it'll be super fun. I can't wait to help you develop your next level style together and I hope you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to talk to you soon.